Okay, this is Roger with another tip on fitness, health, and nutrition. I did get it from my mama. What you say? My intestinal bacteria. It turns out that the shape of your body, their general uh, tendency to gain lots of weight or to keep rather slim, does in fact in a large part come from your mother. Through your metabolism, you inherit all your mitochondria from your mother and also through your intestinal bacteria. Here's what happens. When you're young, like in the womb, just being formed, you don't have intestinal bacteria. You gain those as you go through the birth canal from your mother. And then the first few things you eat in the first few days, some of it mother's milk, uh, some of those contain bacteria as well too, and that's where your intestinal bacteria come from. And your intestinal bacteria have a lot to do with your weight. You see, some of those bacteria are really, really efficient at processing fats, and some of them aren't. If you have a tendency to have more of the bacteria that aren't efficient at processing fats, you don't digest fats well, and those fats simply pass through your body and don't stop to add calories and help you gain weight. On the other hand, some of us, from our mama, have bacteria that help digest fat really well. It takes fat in the lower intestine, turns it into these what they call short chain fatty acids. Those are absorbed into the bloodstream. Those extra calories are deposited and your fat. So no point in feeling guilty. You did get it from your mama. Okay, now, does that mean that it's a done deal? That our intestinal bacteria, in fact, are setting our destiny for our body type? No. A couple of things can be done by it, and one thing's being done about it that we probably aren't even aware, most of us. Number one, you can't actually influence the type of bacteria in your gut. If you eat foods that are high in fiber, yes, plants, fruits, and vegetables, um, and low in fats, that favors the bacteria that are actually inefficient at fat processing. Those bacteria will eventually predominate in your small, in your large intestine, sorry, and a lot of those extra calories from fat will simply move through. Now, this isn't a good thing if you're in a low calorie environment. You need those extra fat calories if you're not getting enough calories. Unfortunately, most of us in North America are getting too many calories, and in fact, it would be better for us if we had more of those uh, bacteria in our gut that don't process fat well. Uh, something else that's also going on is antibiotics. There's a study that shows that the proportion of fat metabolizing bacteria in our gut is in being influenced by the amount of antibiotics in our diet. So if you actually take a lot of antibiotics, what you're doing is you're selecting for, you're making an environment which is more favorable for the fat metabolizing bacteria. And some scientists are beginning to think that this might be at the heart of the obesity epidemic in North America. It could be that years of using antibiotic has caused many of us to have those fat loving bacteria in our gut and as a result, we gain weight. So, uh, so you can influence the type of bacteria in your gut by your diet, and you've probably been influencing the amount of bacteria in your gut simply by taking antibiotics. Antibiotics you may have taken as medicine, you may have eaten meat with uh, antibiotic-raised bacteria in it, and some of the residual antibiotics may be there as well too, and so we've been influenced by all the antibiotics in our environment to become well, fat. So don't feel guilty about your body type. A lot of it is coming from your mother. You can't have control over your mitochondria. You can't have control over your uh, flora that you received, the bacteria you received during birth. However, you can move towards having a healthier gut by choosing a healthier diet. That's it. That's today's tip for fitness, health, and nutrition. A healthy gut can make a healthier you. And yes, Will I Am was correct. A lot of that you did get from your mama. Tell me what you get your body from. Tell me what you get your body from. Tell me what you get your body from.